in the clouds and the dewey is climbing great um, we've, we've come a long way since Tallahassee where we couldn't even climb little hills we learned a lot and I'm really happy with the results this is really really nice I can smell the brakes of the cars that are coming the opposite way so this will be interesting on the way out and we're getting pumped to see the trees we're so close This is General Grant. It's 1,700 years old and 270 feet tall. This is a tree. We're in Sequoia National Park and we spent basically the whole morning getting lost in the forest because I wanted to see if there were horses in the stable. But we ended up here and we're right on the snow line so there's all these big snow drifts. We had to leave the bus downstairs <laughs> because this is a really, really steep climb and also good exercise for us and there's snow everywhere. It's a beautiful place to get lost. Oh my god, we made it! <laughs> Check out this view. <laughs>
this drive is nuts. It's actually really scary, but we're going down using the engine brake. Um, I think it's scary. Nacho thinks it's fine. We'll ask the doobie what she thinks after. Hopefully she thinks it's fine. <laughs> but it's gorgeous, so I guess it's worth it, but... <laughs> okay, we did this. <laughs> Took us what two hours? Um, well, we stayed at the national park for three days without a shower. We decided to stay another night because we wanted to do the scenic drive and the ranger told us it was only a little bit up and down and you go all the way down we lost all the elevation we did 6,000 feet or something i'm trying to figure that out on the map but um it's a hundred percent worth it this place is one of the best places we've seen i want to swim there we started out at 11 here Kings Canyon Visitor Center where they told us there were showers but they were closed so we drove all of this we stopped at the Junction View Overlook to cool off and then we just did this up to Boynton Cave and I think it's around 1230 or 1 so we're trying to get it here it will take us another two hours I think or not I don't know <laughs> Go, go, go. Drowning is the number one cause of death in this park, so it's only in and out quickly, and that's it. Try to sit on that rock. I don't want
and people say don't trust them, so we need to be careful. I was worried because we burnt some oil and we're at the like one millimeter under minimum so I wanted to get to this place and see if they had any type of motor oil. That was my concern and then with these buses you never know it started making a weird noise all five lug nuts came off at the same time and could have been worse. That one goes under for safety. You need the nuts? An airstream with the Jeep. How are those ones? Are they tight? Yeah, I can't possibly tighten them anymore. Okay. No way. Okay, a tiny bit. Did you get that one? Which one? The one closest to it? Yeah. I made it in for a dunk, but um, I thought it would be the only thing that would make me feel better after our wheel literally fell off today. Um, on one of the craziest drives we've been doing, the doobie was running great, and then we pulled into a parking lot to check our oil, and it was like clunk, 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 and all of our little nuts fell off, and I had to go running collecting them, and then... The craziest thing though was we met this German couple with a 1990s VW bus 
and we were like, oh my god, I wish that they were here. Like, they could have totally helped us. And then a van again pulled by, and then the Germans showed up. So it was a whole VW party in the middle of this parking lot, and the van again gave us some um, oil, and we're back on the road. I'm still a little bit freaked out, but Nacho seems to be smiling. Every time something like this happens, he's just all giggles. <laughs> yeah? Giggles? I'm just happy we can fix anything on the side of the road. What are the odds that when your bus breaks down and you have no one to call deep in the middle of the forest, two buses will show up to the rescue? Huge thank you to Karen, Joachim, and the Vanagon family. We were too distracted to ask their names, but I'm glad I took a picture. Good. <laughs> Driving General's Highway, and we stop at every overlook to check our lug bolts because the thread was half chewed up when we put them back in and I was googling what the closest VW shop is and there's one in Visalia so we can get the new parts there and fix it properly. General Sherman, the biggest tree on earth. On our way out of the park with better service, we called the local VW shop, but they were closed. I reached out to the combi group and found Hayden, also known as Vanagon Man. We camped with Hayden and his dog Milo, traded three lug bolts for a wheel wrench, traded sunshades because they fit each other's windshield better, and Hayden gave us an original reverse light lens to replace ours that was broken since we got crashed. Thank you to everyone who took part in our adventure, and to everyone watching our videos. Stay tuned for the next one, where we drive back to Southern California to camp with hundreds of VWs.